Okay, what we're going to do here today, hello there YouTube, I hope you had a very nice Christmas. Now what we're going to do here today, my name is Laura, I love technology, I began doing a lot of things with it decades ago, and so what I want to do is say something about CES, the Consumer Electronic Show. I thought it would be rather interesting to check and see what's going on this year after what's going on, been going on with COVID for so long. And there are some interesting stories. So if you go to the wiki page, which I will put down below, the link below for the wiki page, you'll find out more history about CES. It's the largest electronics show every year. It's in January every year. It began 54 years ago, as stated here. And do more research if um, you you know would like to about it. Wiki can they have mistakes in there. Never know. So always do your research. <clears throat> but. Uh, it's going to start, the last one was January 7th, you know, at the beginning of 2020, before the pan pandemic was official uh, in March, although it began before March, as we all know. So, there's a whole lot here um, that will explain a lot about the history. And what happened in various years. I wish I could have gone. I would have loved to have been there. And. You know. In all these years. I didn't get to go. I dreamed about it. <laughs> I never got to go. Uh, okay. So. What we're going to do now. We're going to go over here to this tab. And we're going to look at. CES this year coming up. It's going to be Wednesday, January 5th, and it's going to end Saturday, January 8th. Wow. Three days. Not very much. However, here's the great news. Oh boy. Microsoft is not going to participate in person. Because of the pandemic. And. Um, wow. I'm sure they'll have a booth there. And all kinds of information. Uh, they might be. Ha they might have live. Um, things going on from the Microsoft location. That will be. At the booth. Through video chat. But. No one from Microsoft will be at the show. Now, usually they have great big um, auditoriums where they have a speaker and a lot of people in them. So, I imagine they won't do that this year, coming year. I don't know uh, how they're going to do this. But they lose Microsoft over COVID fears. So, there you go. Seems to be falling apart. Google and GM join T-Mobile. Hmm. All right. So that's more or less about what CES is about. What will be going on. But what I want to do. First, we're going to go to the website. Which is right here. CES.tech. If you're planning on going there. Chances are you would have already had a ticket to be there. Here's some very important information which you should already know. But uh, see if I can highlight this. Uh, can't see it very well. You must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 to pick up a badge and access CES in person in Las Vegas. 
CES recommends you test for COVID-19 prior to departing for Las Vegas within 24 hours of CES venue. <clears throat> I had COVID in November. Luckily, I was vaccinated. I didn't get the booster yet. I got over it, but it was scary. It was really, really bad for a couple of days. And then I found out the person, the one person that I have to be around that I don't want to be around, well, he had it. So I went and I got tested and I had it, but it went away. So it is scary. It does exist. And I now got rid of it. It's not here anymore. <laughs> um, so there it is about that. So let's look at something else. So we're going to see CES is controlled by the Sumer Technology Association. You can go back on the wiki and look up more on them. Topics. Okay. Good old JavaScript. Scan over these areas here and you'll find more. See, wow, logistics schedule. So you'll find more information. So let's see, 5G and Internet of Things. Okay. Uh, advertising, entertainment, and content automotive. Of course, we're going to have, oh, we're going to do blockchain and cryptocurrency and NTFs. We're going to have uh, self-driving cars, of course. Um, I want to look into cryptocurrency and NTFs and see what's going to be advertised. Oh, yeah. I'm making NTFs. You know, I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm making them anyways. And I'm going to post them and see what happens. Maybe nothing will happen. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. I'm trying to. Okay. Uh, okay, I clicked on it. All right, so these are all the different topics. What do I pick? I want to get a 3D printer and make a bunch of videos starting with putting it together. And I want to get a cheaper one to see what you can make with those. That would be exciting. Startups, investors. Uh -huh. Oh, space technology. Oh, yeah. A lot of good stuff. Okay, so those are the topics that are going to be, basically, um, various booths will be there. Conferences, this is what they have when they have conferences, the program. And that's when they have the big auditorium of people. Well, hmm, what are they going to do? Um, so you have two types of passes. One will include the conference programs, and one will not. All right. And they'll highlight advancement in artificial, um, artificial intelligence, XR, gaming, all kinds of good stuff. Usually, um, Sony and, you know, the new smart TVs and, yeah, smart home, all the new stuff will be there. And they talk about all that. Here we go. Look at all this neat stuff they'll be talking about. Partner program. Okay, speaker directory. Featured speakers. Here are the featured speakers who will be there. Hopefully none of them have COVID or will have COVID when they leave. So, yeah. Obviously, they have to be fully vaccinate, vaccinated to be there. So, here are the speakers. A lot of variety of people, and this is great. All right. And, uh,. Very interesting. Okay. Grab this scroll bar here. There we go. All right. 
So you can go into this website and check out all of these things. Let me click this. All right. Show floor. Here we go. This is interesting. <clears throat> now I find this very, very interesting. Um, I, th oh, shit. I keep popping this up. Oh. Let me see something. Show floor tours, product categories, official floor locations, featured exhibits, media snapshots. I want to find exhibitors that are pretty small and see what they will be bringing in there. What kind of information. Um, yeah, this is just looking up each one. That's not what I want. I want to see... Let me see what this is. Interactive map. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Now how is anybody supposed to see that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Can we like see something? <laughs> Can we move you around? Yeah. Oh boy. I need a bigger monitor. Tech West, Venetian Expo, formerly Sands. Hmm, okay. Yes, of course you have to have a casino. Right. <laughs> uh-huh, you're in Las Vegas after all. So you can check out all of this. Tech South. Ballroom. Space. Uh-huh. Only three hours. Wow. That's really small. I, I mean, nine to five. That's it. Wow. <clears throat> Not very much time. Another ballroom. Hmm. They have these. Meeting room, stages, there should be a stage, I think that's stage, terrace, okay, so, to resort casino, of course, we gotta emphasize the casino, hmm, I mean, I think it would be not, it takes a lot of time to go through all these exhibits, so, it's really sad for, the small exhibitors to not get their exposure such a small amount of time. Hmm. All right. So, I didn't, yeah. You can print this out and take it with you if you're going to be there. So, there you go. The, all these numbers, let me zoom this in some more. All of these numbers show you exhibit locations. I'll show you. I understand how to read stuff like this. Very easy. So you'll see all these numbers here. Okay. All these numbers. Level 1. Level 1 East. Willow meeting rooms. Hmm. Okay. Zoom out some more. Let me see down. Okay, down. So, oh, here's some more. There they are. Right. Okay, yeah. So these are more of the numbers that we'll be seeing in a minute. This is really in this one big area, right next to the Tech West and the casino. Exhibitor news. Exhibitor space selection. Oh, they're going to, that's for next year. So you could talk to them about next year if you want to reserve a space. 
I think it's funny how it's at the same place every year. I think other places should be able to host it if they want to. It's really not quite fair. You know, I think that should be a discussion because of how much inner, uh, electronics is a part of everyday life. So now I think it should be more becoming some kind of competition to where, you know, they should do something to promote some other town to host it at another year and make it a competitive thing. It's always been in Las Vegas, but it's time to change and update. All right, so let's go back here. Whoops. Oh, yes, the mouse wheel works very nice, of course. Go. Nope. All right, floor plan. Let's go back and get rid of that. Go up and take a look. Oh, logistics, yeah. If you're going to go, make sure you check out all this. This is very, very, very important for this coming year. Very important. Okay, so let's go back. I mean, they have featured exhibitors. That's going to be, you know, the rich people. But we're not going to look at those. Um, you know, everybody knows who the, they are. <laughs> they have lots of money, and they overpower the small ones. So, we're going to go look at the small ones. So, let's get, let me see. I want to look at, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out, excuse me, I'm trying to figure out how to find besides this. So, let's pick a topic, I guess. Maybe we could find someone with a small, whoops, small exhibit in an interesting topic. Uh -huh. I want to go here. Um, let's try smart home. That sounds interesting. Okay. And then we're going to go down here. I wonder if we can see different exhibits for smart home besides the big guys um hmm. you know what we're just gonna have to do a random pick the bathroom <laughs> uh-huh yeah looks interesting okay All right, exhibit. Want to exhibit? Oh, advertising to the one who wants to exhibit there. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do then, let me click here. Exhibitors. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let's go back up here. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a glass of water. So while I'm doing that. What? I'm Ron. Hmm. Um, okay. <clears> hey, <throat> tickle in my throat. I gotta mute this for a minute.
Okay. <clears throat> I'm back. Tickle in the throat. What can I say? It happens. <clears throat> All right. We we're gonna, let's go look at um featured speakers. And we did that. I forgot. Sorry. All right. Let's go to the show floor. And. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, it costs nine ninety five to have a tour. <laughs> you don't have time to look at your phone. You only can have eight hours, so whatever. Alright. Fully sanitized headsets so you don't miss a word. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, okay, I'm going to go look at that, uh, where I was in the beginning, and now I'm trying to figure out where that was. Where's, I think it was right here. Yeah, here we go. I think, uh, <coughs> where was that list? <laughs> where was the list of exhibitors so I could look at some? Um, <sighs> My goodness, what did I do now? <clears throat> well, well, I lost my place here. You might have clicked away by now. Hopefully you're kind and patient, but if you're not, that's okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out oh, topics. Uh, uh, I got my place. Where? Oh. <coughs> yeah, we were here already. You might say, why don't you just edit this out? You know what? This is what we do in life when we look for thing information. A lot of videos are just simply edited way too much. <laughs> <coughs> Official show locations by categories. Hmm. Schedule is interesting. <clears throat> Topics. I mean, eight to five or eight to eleven. That's just not very much time to do much of anything. <laughs> and what this means, what, I, what this is really difficult um, about is <clears throat> the people, the ones who have money are the ones that are really going to make out here a lot more because there's not very much time. So they can really, you know, Intel and Sony and all that, they can really... Uh, Take over. <clears throat> Let's go back up to the top. There's no back to the top button. Okay, <laughs> mm sorry about that. That was a bit fast, wasn't it? Whoops. <clears throat> Conference. Oh, speaker directory. Maybe no, that's not it. Is it? No. I want the exhibitors directory. 
just keeps popping up and I have to keep getting it off there. <clears throat> oh, I just did that. Unless it was, wait, it was this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where I should have clicked the first time. Everybody yelling at me, click on that. Okay, well, let's pick a cup, pick something that. <clears throat> at the end. Let's go to Z. Let's go way in the bottom. This poor company created a name for itself that's way on the end of the list. Is anybody going to know they exist? <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, click view. No, no, no information! Mm, trying to help you here. You don't have nothing here. 5G technology, smart home appliances. Booth Ren 14. Okay, where's that? What? Where is it? I want to see it. What's this? I don't want that. Tech East Renaissance. Hospitality Suite. What? I don't want this Renaissance. Shared booth exhibit exhibitors. Oh, okay. They're all shared together. <clears throat> Interesting. All right. Fourteen. Tech East. East. East, there's East, and 14, <clears throat> oh, CPI, when you go to these big things, you gotta things up, Immigrants, da -da -da. Tech E. Ooh, Renaissance. <clears throat> Few companies are listed. Renova. Okay. Moving rooms. So. <clears throat> Tech East Hospitality Suites. All right. What is that? West Hall. Three thousand seven ninety nine. Hmm. Okay. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Oh boy. <clears throat> hmm. I would love to do this during a live session. That would be so much more fun. Instead of a video. <laughs> Meeting rooms. Lobby. Moving around this way. Let's go up this way. Let's go up this way. Hospitality. Where's hospitality? <clears throat> Plaza East. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let me hit the back button. So we got Plaza, Level 1, Meeting Rooms, Venetian Expo, 
So there is Hot Canada. There's a sinner and this is the arrest. <clears throat> this is not very helpful, is it? Where does it say hospitality? This is what I I get really irritated by the internet. People, what people put on the internet, they don't exactly do things where one thing relates to exactly what they're talking about. It says hospitality. A little to the word East Renaissance and hospitality all together, right? <clears throat> well, we found East, we found meeting rooms, all this, South Hall, Renaissance. That's the Renaissance, bronze lot, meeting rooms. That's the only thing that says Renaissance, of course, and usually Renaissance is going to mean like one thing. One location. Two tech west and tech south. But I don't see anything that says hospitality. Alliance and all this stuff. Sadly, it doesn't tell me where they are. So if I want to go see that company, I don't know how I'm going to find them, right? How am I going to find them? <laughs> Boy, would I be disappointed. They're only open 8 to 5. You have to be able to have a good way to find these people. <clears throat> Let's pick another one. LVCC 17. Okay, Central Hall. It doesn't say what they're about. Oh. Tech East, LVCC, Central Hall. Now this one says they're right there. <laughs> there you go. Now that's what I call a map. Now, where is this? <clears throat> right? And look at this. This has everybody else. A lot of stuff on here. Look at this. This is exactly what you want to print out. Broadcast Central Tower. And it has this other stuff on the map. I would print this map out if I was going there. Of course, it has tiny little print. But I could make notes on it. <laughs> okay, C2 entrance. Is it C2? C2. So, bathrooms. Go up here, Central Plaza. So FedEx office. Grand Lobby and North Hall. C1 entrance. <clears throat> C3 concourse entrance. C3 entrance. C4 entrance. Right? A lot of stuff are in here. Two meeting rooms. Ooh, that tells me a good clue. So, let's go back to the floor plan. C. Tech East. Oh, that comes out on the other side. <clears throat> I don't think that's what I was just looking at. Because uh, the, the level one and level two, since they're on top of each other, these are the meeting rooms. One of the meeting rooms. It has to be here. CS. Mm hmm. Ballroom, okay. I'm just confused by the numbers, but <clears throat> so 
But yeah, I would print that out and then I would look in here to find it. Yeah, they have a shuttle. They can shuttle you around to different entrances. So you don't have to walk everywhere. Uh -huh. That'd be nice. Hmm. Wait, where was I? It was in this one. Yeah, this one. Central Plaza. Meeting room. Grand Lobby. North Hall. I want to find this. Grand Lobby, North Hall, Central Plaza. Well, I was going to try to help, you know, advertise a few of the uh, less known, but there are many there, so the best thing to do is to go into that exhibit list. And <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, do I have a tickle? Mm. There you go, Central Plaza and all that. North Hall. <coughs> So it still goes back to the same thing that I showed the first time. <coughs> there you go. North Hall. North Hall. That's what I'm looking for. North Hall. Central Plaza. So, <clears throat> those booths are all over here. Grand Lobby. That's the Hall of Grand Lobby, yeah. <clears throat> and all these different entrances. Meeting rooms. Meeting rooms. Okay, so this okay, so you need to have these are a bunch of the booths right here. Samsung, oh, great big booth, right? <laughs> um, so if you look at the uh, here. Okay, this one, 17283, 17 to something, 06162301283, <laughs> well, that's the one we were looking at. <clears throat> now, what about this one, like ENC10 or something, what's that? So E, what about E? Okay, here's a sixes. Six, seven, six, four. Right there, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 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 one, five, one, six, one, seven. Right. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. 
Okay, this is 019. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm not real sure about the ENs. So, these are the numbers. And if you look in here and they don't have it listed, at their name listed yet. <coughs> Then um, they might. Uh oh. They might. They might still be in there somewhere. Like somebody might be assigned to it. I don't know where ENC is yet. Don't know. So I have to click on these other letters. My mouse is not cooperating. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh well, I have to refresh the screen. But um, so at least we found these, which is the majority of them. <coughs> C and one seven, one eight, one nine. That's on the end. One nine. <coughs> one nine. C. Where's E? Might be at the entrance. E might be the entrance. When you first come in the entrance. Probably big names. Job A. They make headset or earbuds. <coughs> cool. Alright, so that's in this area, so yep. interesting. So basically, there are a bunch of them over here. The other space has meeting rooms and large ballrooms. Uh, where they have a stage and a bunch of seats or something. <clears throat> now, I thought... Oh, this business center. So, these are probably little exhibits where you pick up stuff. Let me see. If I click on it, what's going to be in here? Eureka Parks. Okay. Oh, different governments, <clears throat> information, different booths about other things, trade agency. Okay, that's interesting. If you want to trade in other countries, they have information for people. Company, like if co this is for the companies that are there, if they want to look up other business information relating to <clears throat> trading in other countries or information relating to shipping or who knows what, you know, these companies are here. That's, that's cool, you know, that's very cool, actually. Especially if you're a small company, you can go look at representatives that are actually in that part of the world that do shipping or something. Now the AARP is in here. <clears throat> so different businesses are in here. Um, universities are in here. Maybe they talk about research. Technical research. Um, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. It's not just about products. It's about like this one. The Patent and Trademark Office. So you can get patent and trademark information. Yep. Wow, a lot of stuff in here. <clears throat> that I would find very interesting. <clears throat> so. 
Well, I don't know where E N means. I'm thinking entrance, but I'm not sure exactly where it is. Um. Hmm. A shared booth space. Tech West Encore Hospitality. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> Where's oh here? Okay, Tech West. I don't know where Encore Hospitality is. Hopefully they. Whoops. Hopefully they would have a map to help people find out exactly where that is. So, we're going to end here. I know you're probably bored, but yeah. So, this is a little bit about um, CES. And uh, if you're going, you know, you got to really plan every minute while you're there because it's not very long. <laughs> Closing at 5 o'clock each day. Really sad. Wow. Very sad. Now, I don't know. They probably have other, like, the exhibit hall is closing, but maybe there are ways to, I don't know, see other um, sponsors and stuff they have as their special. <clears throat> Presentations and conferences and things that might be outside of these hours. I don't know exactly. <gasps> oh. um, let me look at that real quick before going. The schedule for the conference. Not very helpful. No. Stuff you can do when you're <clears throat> back to the schedule. So really, this is all they got going on right before. Oh, see, they got conferences later in the evening. 5, 8.30. Yeah. Eight to eight forty five. Eight to eight forty five. So the exhibits are open during the day and then they have oh dear in the morning. <laughs> and in the morning in the morning. And then during the day. I just don't think it's fair to have these conferences. We don't have much time to go to all the booths. You have all the business booths, and then you have all the other booths. So you can't, you can't do all that in eight hours. Uh, body friend? <laughs> What's that? What? Exchange for sessions available. Hmm. Yeah, I I actually don't like the conferences, but a lot of times that's why people go. You can always try to contact any of the businesses and uh, find out more about them, but. Sadly, it's only three days like this, and that's really very sad. Um, and it's also very expensive. <laughs> so, there you go.
Um, yep, there you go, CES. I think it's overrated this year, coming up. Pretty sad. I wouldn't want to go this time. Hmm. But, I will be checking it out online, see what they talk about. And I'm going to go to the blockchain one and find out what's going on there. Okay. Well, you all have a happy uh, weekend, and which is now Sunday night. Okay. Um, and enjoy the week before New Year's. Happy New Year.